Hello, rail fans. Welcome to French Ride Trains. It's Monday, December 7th, 2020. We headed out to the Washington Street Crossing in the morning. When we got there, we were in luck. The signal was green. A southbound CSX train was coming. We waited about 20 minutes, and he arrived. A decent first catch. A pair of SD43 rebuilds lead a southbound manifest train. This train was fairly short today, and despite sitting there another couple hours, that was the only train I caught on Monday. On Tuesday morning, Word on Facebook was the Conrail Heritage Unit was going to be heading up the Dayton District. Hoping to catch it, I headed over to the Norfolk Southern Line at Finley Street. After waiting an hour, our first catch arrived. And coincidentally, a parade of dump trucks was going by at the same time. This one was an awesome surprise. I could see in the distance this train was fairly short, and I had my suspicions on what train it was, and I ended up being right. Check that out, up close and personal with the Federal Railroad Administration inspection train, pulled by an SD-70 Ace. That was so awesome, we're gonna see it again. After he passed, the signal came up green behind him. Another train was coming, and still hoping to catch that Conrail unit, I hung around. It was another hour before the next train got there. No Conrail unit on this guy, but a big manifest train, pulled by an AC44C6M, a Dash 9, and an SD70 ACU, rebuilt from an SD90 Mac. As we zoom in here, to see the train stretching off into the distance, you can see the Dayton skyline in the background. A load of lumber here. This train was long and did take a bit of time to go by, so we're going to speed the footage up.
this train was so long, I was beginning to wonder if he'd have a DPU. But he didn't, just the three locomotives on the front. up the rear of the train. And check out the graffiti on this one. After he passed, I waited around another hour trying to catch that Conrail unit, but it never came. That was the last train I saw that day, as I had to go home and run errands. I found out later it didn't come through till 4 or 5 in the afternoon. So I missed the Conrail unit again, but still got some awesome catches that day. The next day I went out on Wednesday, and I didn't have to wait long for the first train to arrive at Washington Street. SD-43 rebuilds lead a southbound manifest train. I do believe this was J-783 heading south to Cincinnati, but I'm not sure on that. Check out the graffiti on that one. Lots of covered hoppers. some tank cars bring up the rear of this one. After that, the signal went lunar. There was another southbound coming up right behind him. Before the next one arrived, an ambulance went by. And soon enough, the next southbound was here. A pair of 
of AC44CWs lead this train, the leader in the YN2 paint scheme. A catch that's getting rarer and rarer these days. It also had its front door open. This was another big manifest, so we'll be speeding it up. bunch of auto racks mixed in on this one as a double Automax car passes by us. And some full car covering graffiti here. and some cartoon character graffiti on this one. Finally, the end of the train was in sight. I didn't have anything else to do that day, so I stuck around. About an hour later, the next train arrived. Another southbound CSX. Awesome catch. Leading is an ES44 ACH. The second unit is an SD70 Mac. Third is an ES40 DC. Catching that SD70 Mac was awesome. This was a full auto rack train. He came in slow, but then he starts to speed up. Another car with full side covering graffiti. This one took over 10 minutes to go by, so we'll go ahead and speed up portions of him too.
and another car with graffiti all the way up the sides. You gotta wonder how they get up high enough to paint that. And finally, 10 minutes later, we reach the bottom of the train. Well, folks, that's all for this episode of French Fried Trains. Stay tuned, because there's plenty more where that came from. Don't forget to subscribe, and everyone have a great day out there. Stay safe.